All right, here comes a tough bit. So we just keep an eye on where we're actually heading with this. So we just check that we're on track. So we've, we're able to ask questions. So we'll look at the um, brief again. We're able to ask questions. We're able to keep score. We're able to um, um, repeat those questions. Um, but what we're not able to do right now is make sure that they're multiplication tables questions. So I'm just going to show you that tough bit now. If, it's best to start the code again with this one. Um, so I've actually, uh, we're going to start by creating these three variables and we're going to test just this small part of code. Can we make the uh, correct question and can we use random to make sure that that works? So um, I'm just going to start again with the code. I've deleted everything and started with the green arrow. Um, and it asks us to set the question to join random one, join random two, and I'll explain why in a second. So um, I've already made these variables. So you can see um, you just click on um, new variable. Um, I've added a question one, a question variable, a random one, and a random two variable. And I've left the score in there for now. Um, so what we need to do is we need to set question to something. So we're going to set question two. Um, and we need to put these random variables in. Now, um, it so happens that if you want to set a, a string, you can actually use the join command down here. So you can ch chuck join in here. And then you can use the data to put random one in the first box and random two in the second box. And you should, um, let's just test this. So we go like this, we click on green and we test it. Um, set question. I didn't ask the question. That's pretty dumb. Um, so we're going to ask the question as well. So click down here and then go to data and then go question and chuck that in here. So we ask the question and we wait. So we hit that. It puts in two numbers. Um, now yours was probably going to be two zeros. Um, I was playing around with this earlier. So that's why random one and random two are not set to zero. Um, so uh, it's not quite perfect. We need to actually put the X in between so that we know it's a multiplication question rather than just having a couple of numbers appear. And the way you do that is by um, going again into the join. And we need to grab another join. And we need to put that in the second block here. And we put this into the first block. Now, this is just going to be an X. And if we put, type in an X and um, we test this code, you'll see that you'll see that you get the two numbers without much of a space between. So what I'll do just to, to sort of cheat the system a little bit is I'm just going to put a space before the X and a space after the X. So when I type this, uh, click the screen, you get the two numbers with, with the X in the middle and the two spaces. So um, we have tested this and we are able to ask um, these values. However, um, they're the same all the time. For you, it's probably zero, zero. For me, it's the, whatever it was set before. Um, so we need to make them random. So the, the easiest way to do that inside the operators is the pick random number 1 to 10. So what we're going to do inside of data is we're going to say we're going to set set um, random 1 random 1 to the random number between 1 and 10. And we're going to put that up here. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other one. So we're going to set Set random two. Oops, no. Set random two, and we're going to use the pick random number. I'm going to put that whole block right here. So we create the random number, we create the next random number, and then we set the question to um, make that string so it prints out those random numbers and then we ask the question and if we test this code every time we test it we should see we get different random numbers between zero between one and ten